Hey y'all, it's Lucky Aces, and I got me a big old box. What's in this box, you ask? Well, that's my new Viking saddlebags for the Kawasaki Mean Streak 1600. So if you guys have been around the internet for a while, you know, anytime anybody recommends hard bags, they always uh, recommend Viking. But if you've priced Viking bags, they can be a little on the uh, expensive side, depending on what you want to do. Now, I've been running a set of cheap hard bags on the Mean Streak, but I was never really happy with them. And honestly, that bike deserves something good. So we're going to open these today and uh, take a look and try to get an idea of the quality and make sure they're worth the money. I've gone as far as cutting the tape off this box, but that is it. I mean, everything else is still factory sealed. I've had these... I've had these for like three days, and I've been waiting for time to actually do this video. Trust me, I've been wanting to rip these things open. I've been like a kid at Christmas this whole time. And they give you some goodies. First thing they give you is this little envelope that says, Keys are in here, okay? There's also paperwork in here. I presume this is going to be instructions. And hopefully I don't rip it to shred. This is a very thin envelope. Instructions are for painted bags only. I went with the gloss black because the bike is gloss black. Yeah, microfiber towel, warm soap, water, bleach, don't use bleach. Neat. All right, so that's just the how to take care of your bags. Ooh, they got little tags on them. So already these keys are a lot better quality than the cheap ones that came with the, uh, the other cheap bags. All right, let's go ahead and get one of these out of here. The reason I like the Viking bags also, the other reason I wanted to go with them, is these actually have, can't tell what side it is, we're gonna open this anyway. Ah, look how strong I am. I've been drinking all that milk. Yeah, there we go. Plus on the other side, you get all this fun bubble wrap to play with. It doesn't pop very, I mean it pops, but it doesn't, it's not very, that's all right. Boop, boop. Anyway. Yeah. They package these things extremely well. Yeah, these are 34 liter. Get out of the way. So these are some hefty freaking bags. My gosh, more tape. This is actually a really nice little cloth bag. Where's like the end of it? There it is. It's on this side. Yeah, take that tape. This is kind of soft. But here we go. I'll throw the part number on screen because I kind of don't remember what it is, but I really like these because they have the shock cut out. So it's going to sit. You can probably see that right there. So it's going to sit really nice and tight to the bike itself. Oh, wow. Yeah, these, okay. Yeah, this. First of all, it smells really nice in here. Definitely, there's a good chemical smell, so you might want to let these things air out a little bit. But I love the latch on these on this lid. You see that? I mean, the cheap plastic one just had like a little flip thing. This is actually extremely durable and extremely sturdy. Plus, check the inside of this bag out. That's some sort of freaking nylon liner on the inside. It's got a little zipper pocket. I am extremely happy with the quality of this bag and the plastic itself. Compared to those cheap bags, you can definitely tell that these are a higher quality. 100% and let's check this out. I want to see how easy this locks That is a piece of cake Doesn't even let you lift it. Oh My gosh the locks on those cheap bags are so finicky Wow the hinge feels great. It has it has a it's not super heavy. It's got some decent heft to it But I'm very happy there's a little wedge-shaped box in there And I presume it's gonna have all our installation hardware. Yep, hardware. Get that out of the way. What do we got going on in here? Accessories for mounting. All right, it's gonna be our little checklist here. Looks like we got a couple bolts locking that spacers, spacer, spring washer. 
Yeah, so these are gonna be what connects it to the bike, and these are, yeah, rinky-dink six millimeter. Now, what a lot of guys do in the mean streak is instead of using these little six millimeter hunks of junk, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll drill and tap those out. Uh, some guys go eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, uh, seven sixteenths. That's probably what I'm gonna do, because I'm not saying it won't work, I'm just saying a lot of people complain about broken bolts, and I actually did break one already with the cheap bags, so I just wanna avoid that altogether. Let's go and open up this hardware box, a bam. I see a bunch of washers, they give you an Allen wrench, which is nice. These, these guys, I presume, because I didn't read any of this yet. I got in one side of this, probably that one. So I'm gonna presume this is the side that goes on the bike, that's the side that goes on the bag. I don't know for sure, I haven't installed these yet. I have not even looked at the instructions. This is the first time I've opened this box. That's block washers. There's some flat pieces that I presume kind of go some kind of, what do they call this thing, cross member. Probably goes to some lower mounting points on the bags, probably something kind of like that. So as far as first impressions go, everything I did not like about those cheap bags, I do not have any issues with those exact same things, being the hinges, the lock. I think these are definitely worth the money. Now, so I'm looking forward to getting these on the bike. And if you haven't seen my Kawasaki Mean Streak yet, well, you can check out this video right here. And as always, y'all be good. See ya.